When you confront those who lurk in the darkness, you also engulf yourself in it. So says the foe of the inhumans, the foe of the apostles, the foul demons who he swore to fight against and destroy the infamous, dangerous, fearsome, and of course, enigmatic Skull Knight. Whoever the Skull Knight is, guys and gals, none of us truly know, but the Skull Knight, his origin is one of mystery, but also his intention what his true intent is and that's the topic of this video right here a discussion series on the aforementioned Skull Knight the Skull Knight from Biora Kantaru's Berseruku aka Berserk as known in the English translation the Skull Knight himself guys and gals yours truly has always said this about him ever since his first appearance in which the Skull Knight had rescued both Guts and Casca from the Ad Event, otherwise known as the Eclipse, which was the ceremony that welcomed Femto, the fifth member of the God Hand, the fucking God Hand, who Guts and the Skull Knight had sworn to battle and of course eventually destroy. And what's so interesting about the Skull Knight himself is that the Skull Knight, just like Guts, does not once recognize them as anything but inhuman scums, the demons and apostles, and them straight guys and gals because those monsters deserve to be killed and destroyed with the only exception being Guts and Casca's child, the infant or the demon as Guts saw him as. That infant, that child, guys and gals, is nothing but a demon in the eyes of Guts as opposed to Casca. But Guts and the Skull Knight, their views on the demons and apostles and of course the God Hand themselves is equal and nothing but. And the Skull Knight has always functioned as a guide for the Black Swordsman, the struggler on his quest to destroy said God Hand, especially Griffith for what he has done. But guys and gals, keep Keep in mind, we do not know the true intention of the Skull Knight and what exactly he's doing when the focus is not on him or Guts when these two share the panel together or an episode together in the 2016 and 2017 anime series which I do love guys and gals and consider them to be underrated, I do, but the Skull Knight guys and gals, regardless, his intentions are so unknown but yours truly believe believes deep down the Skull Knight is and has always been up to something whatever that something is I know deep down guys and gals he is indeed up to something for one the Skull Knight has never stated exactly what his origin is or his hatred for the God Hand and what they are doing against humanity which is who the Skull Knight fights for or is he what exactly is the Skull Knight's intention yours truly believes deep down the Skull Knight's sincerity that the Skull Knight does indeed hate the Apostles and wants them dead, especially the God Hand, and he plans to use Guts as his ally, quote-unquote ally, until the God Hand and Apostles are destroyed and gone from existence because that is his purpose after what happened to him, which I believe is betrayal. He was betrayed by the God Hand and essentially the Apostles, hence why he has nothing but bitterness towards them and looks down upon them. That being said, guys and gals, I do believe that the Skull Knight's ulterior motive in what he's doing is for something else, something aside from wiping the God Hand and the Apostles from existence, and that is destruction of their world and essentially mankind, the world of man. I do believe this, guys and gals, because I can't think of any motive right now which fits his description, the Skull Knight's motive, that is, and what exactly he's driven by besides hatred and vengeance and secondly guys and gals the Skull Knight's appearance it is so dark and so grim like the Grim Reaper that is one person on YouTube also pointed this out after I mentioned it his appearance man his appearance reeks of darkness and ambiguity ambiguity as to what his true motive is and true intentions I have no idea what exactly his true motive and 
what exactly he is driven by, but that's what's so fascinating about him, the Skull Knight. The Skull Knight is definitely up to something. Once again, I have no idea exactly what that something entails, but I do believe deep down the Skull Knight is indeed up to something, and that is something we the readers will eventually find out in Miura Kentaro's Bursaruku, and that, guys and gals, is my thoughts or analysis slash discussion on the infamous, dangerous, fearsome, and ambiguous Skull Knight. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and please do check out the previous episodes of this discussion slash analysis series on Bursaruku, aka Berserk, the link of which will be down below in the description box, and do check out my gaming channel where I do Let's Play series, gaming content, and so much more. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.